Okay, um, I haven't really seen many good videos uh, doing upgrades for the original Xbox dashboard, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So I've just bucked up the EEPROM, and when you're doing a basic install, uh, or minimum, or whatever, it says you need the 5960, and then it tells you don't have it. I think there are a few other ways to do it. You can do ones <coughs> you can do ones with Halo or any game that's made around 2004 and has Xbox Live capabilities. I don't know why but I always seem to have trouble with it. I think so anyway we're gonna do it with like Slayers or just any auto installers you may have available. Um, yeah, so just um, go to upgrade from 1.0 and um, yeah, just, just just press OK, I guess. Oh, that didn't help me very much, did it? Oh, no, it's this one, sorry. It's restore. How helpful of me. Yeah, just, I don't think it really matters which one you go to because you're going to be installing something different anyway, but I'll, I do generic. Uh, so basically what this does, it, it puts your Xbox in a soft-booted state, but you can't actually, you, you can only boot CDs, it, it like stops you from being able to boot the dashboard. So, do that. Um, I think I have a sticky tray on this one, but you have to do this as quickly as you can. Not that it matters, like... But you gotta do it before it like actually can boot up to an error or anything, because otherwise you have to reset it and yeah. Give me a second to get my CDs out. This is what you want to use. Now, for those, obviously, because you're doing this, you probably don't have a hard modded Xbox. And, um, well, you're here, so it's possible that you're new to a lot of this. Um, you really, really do not want to press anything that, when you click on it, says you, you don't use this for soft modded Xboxes. Because... When something warns you not to do something, you don't do it. And I may have learnt that the hard way, but I, I fixed it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think any of these don't just... See? It, it's like in capitals. Don't do it. Just leave everything the fuck alone. Go to... I think it was... Apps and Upgrades. And... MS dash and you go like all the way to the bottom and there's like that one and that's the one you want to use um, you really don't just, I can't stress that enough just don't fucking press anything else because you will get an error 13, 16 or 21 It, it actually um, might be a good idea while you're doing this to um, uh, FTP to your Xbox and get your EPOM off in case you do do something that you didn't intend on doing, but that's unlikely.
is as long as you just do exactly what I'm doing. Alright, I've finished doing that. So just go back. Um Yeah, just actually you might want to take that out. And if you're wondering what the uh cycle flashing is with the orange and green, it's pretty self explanatory. It's because you're in the that um I guess it's not self-explanatory. You, you're in because you did the unleash X thing. It does that to tell you it's not pro properly modded or something. Now it should just boot to the Xbox dashboard, and. Should have actually started the video from here to show you what dashboards they have. But <clears throat> at the very end of all this crap, I don't even know if you can control this at all. I don't think you can. Yeah, it, the bottom one is dashboard and the top one is kernel. Um, yeah, so 5960 is what we wanted and is what we have achieved. So I could go back and do the soft mod but obviously if you've gotten this far you already know how to do it so it should work now. And if not, well either uh try again or um just yeah just maybe leave me a message and I I might be nice enough to help you. Thanks for watching and maybe subscribe if you're gonna be a nice cunt. Good day.